Uh, thank you, Megan. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Tian Nguyen. I will be your presenter for today's topic, which is data analysis and visualization in Starlum. Uh, before I head in deeper into the topic, uh, I'd like to hang on one second. Uh, I'd like to speak a little bit about my background. Uh, I have a bachelor's in science bachelor's and master's of science in computer science from SDSU in sunny California. Uh, I've been doing uh, in the inf information technology for over 15 years and eight of those years have been uh, development in LIMS as well as informatic consulting. Uh, my specialization is star LIMS and clarity LIMS and I've worked both in the biotech and government sector. So I, I kind of bring a lot of experience and a lot of awareness of what a lab needs to function. So today's agenda, uh, I'd like to go over these following topics um, to kind of give you a, um, a, a context in which data analysis and visualization exists within Starlands. I'd like to talk about lab data and limbs and lab lab operations within your limb system. And then once we finish that, we'll go to data analysis and visual visualization star limbs and compare the two products that star limbs offers uh, to kind of meet those needs. And then we'll go into uh, more into advanced analytics. We'll, we'll do a quick uh, demo of how um, advanced analytics works within LIMS and talk about the features and then talk about the roles that uh, advanced analytics play within your lab. And then uh, we'll talk about how C how advanced analytics is set up within star LIMS itself. So all the components involved. Then once we're done with that, we'll talk about how Seesaw can help in your installation upgrade, if you decide to take advantage of uh, advanced analytics and all its features. And we'll talk about how Seesaw can support you in implementing your solution. And by the end of the session, if you have questions, we'll, we'll answer them as best as we can. So first talking point, point limbs and lab data. So within your limb systems and within Starlim specifically, uh, Starlim divides data into two separate types, static and dynamic. Uh, in terms of static data, you can think of it as your configuration data. So you have your lab and you have a lot of, uh, you know, um, within your lab, you have uh, your lab location, your service teams and, and, and groups, your users, your equipment, your materials, your suppliers, your test plans, your tests, methods, and specification. These exist both in the real world as well as within LIMS configuration. So static data represents that modeling of your lab and how that, that lab, your real world exists within the LIMS system. So that's the data that you set up initially. And the data that is the dynamic part is the data that's generated as you operate your lab. So that includes, you know, um, creating lab runs, entering in testing materials, equipment, reagents, entering your results, generating lab reports, um, doing equipment ma ma maintenance, and doing inventory stuff. So as you develop, if, as you go through your operations, you're generating a lot of data, right? And it's, it's, it's data that is captured, that is, it's the raw data. So compare that data versus, uh, you know, your, so if you think about it, the LIM system is a representation of your lab and its workflow. And it's helping you to guide you and capture uh, that data in this daily operation. But if you really think about it, uh, LIMS is not equal to your lab operations. 
So your limbs is it's it's doing those types of things that it's meant for, but your lab operations is actually a lot more than that. It's it's the you know customer service. It's the it's the lab director. It's the um, you know your your supplier, right? So in terms of lab operations, you know your lab manager might say, hey, you know what? What's in my testing queue? How many samples are coming in today? Um, customer service manager might say, what is the TAT for these samples? These samples. Where are my samples currently located? And your lab director might be interested in how many results that they reported out the last past year. So in terms of lab or operations, you're asking questions like, what's happening now? What's happening? What has happened? And, it's, and you're asking, how are we doing? And how can we improve? Um, those type of questions um, are not answered directly uh, as a result of you configuring your system and you operating it on a daily basis. And in, in my opinion, Starlims, um, out of the box support for this, these types of questions, to answer these type of questions, is not the best. Um, and the reason why is two main reasons, I think. Um, one is each lab is different. So in general, you know, every, every lab that you go to, there's always some type of customization that is requested from, you know, people like CISOL, right? And to provide a general solution to answer these type of questions, um, it, it doesn't work. Um, I think Starlims has a, several widgets that tries to, to kind of provide these type of information um, to the user, but uh, from my experience, um, it, it doesn't work because it, the, the, each lab is so different, right? Um, so the other reason why I think out of the box port is it's not optimal is like is that Lint at its basic is not really optimized for these individual workflows. So I say let's say for example I am a an analyst and my job is to log into the system, um, you know, set up a run, and turn in my uh, run information, your my material, my um, you know equipment, um, my reagents, and to enter the result. And I'm done, right? So I, I know what's in my queue, I know what needs to be done, and I do it, and then I log out the system. As, so think of it from a manager's point of view. With, if you're a manager and your limbs is configured you know, the way it is, and it's configured at an individualized workflow where you know, each individual based upon their role knows what they need to do, it doesn't quite work out for me. Because when I log in, I'll be, on, be only be able to see what I need to do, which is as a manager, probably not much in terms of lab work. And I need to know what all my uh, analysts are doing. I need to know what all my CLS are doing. I need to know, uh, because I need to talk to my superior and tell them of the status of the lab. And I think I need to run the lab. So from manager's point of view, it's kind of impractical the way that Lens is set up to kind of find out this information, to kind of answer these questions, right? So Starlens provides a couple of mechanisms to meet these needs. 